In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a jitter plot with both the random and index functions. To build this, let's drag country onto the rows and let's put sales onto the columns. I'm going to change my mark type to a circle. And in this example, I want my highest selling countries at the top. So I'm going to choose to sort descending. Now what I need to do is I need to tell Tableau to give me more dots and to spread them out. I'm going to right click and drag purchase date to the detail and choose purchase date discrete. And now you can see I have a dot plot. To turn this into a jitter plot, I'm going to double click in the rows and put in the average of random. And now we can see our dots spread out. Okay, so from here, I'm going to edit the axis. I'm going to fix the axis to go from minus 0.5 to 1.5. And I'm doing that because it gives me more room between each of the rows. I can then hide my header. I'm on the random field, I'm going to uncheck include in tooltip as well. If you want, you could change the color, maybe reduce the opacity and perhaps maybe even reduce the size. From here, it's a bit of cleanup. So for me, I like to have every other row gray. So I'm going to choose the shading option. I'm going to increase my band size and then move the level to the left one. And I want to get rid of the grid lines and the zero lines and the dividers. So I'm going to choose the borders option, set my row divider to none, my column divider to none, and then on my lines option, I'm going to set my grid lines to none and my zero line to none. OK, so that's how we do it with the random function. To do it with index, I'm going to start by duplicating the sheet. I'm going to take the average of random off of the rows just so we're back to our dot plot. I'm going to double click in the rows and type in index. Index is one of our table calculations that let, lets us count the number of marks in the view. Now, I want this counting to restart every time we get to a new country. So in the index field, I'm going to edit the table calculation. I'm going to choose specific dimensions. And I want to restart every time I get to a new country. So I'm going to uncheck country and then compute by purchase date. And you can see now the dots are spread out nice and neat. But also notice, for example, in Russia, how there's a lot of white space in between the dots. That's because all of the axis ranges are the same. So I'm going to edit the axis for the index, uncheck include zero, and make them independent. From there, I can uncheck show header, and I can uncheck include in tooltip. The disadvantage of using index is I can't create space between each of the countries like I can when I use the random function. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.